Okay, this is the date. I'm having problems. This is the second time I'm shooting this video. Um, Friday, May 12th, this is the, today's date. I got a response from stepmom after uploading the video and speaking, I think it was yesterday, on what was going on with my child. And this is what happened with the dad. He's not in his proper mental capacity. He had the stroke and the stepmom has power of attorney over him. And when the court allowed me to go to, um, Kim Cooks allowed me to finally go to my court date on uh, July 10th, this dad didn't even speak. He wasn't even capable of speaking. And I told the court that he was not in his proper mental capacity and she wasn't being honest. Well, the court is fully aware of what's going on and didn't care. I said that multiple false statements were made. I told him all of that. James Hastings, this, you know, all of that, the, um, what was going on with the teachers, the court, um, the Kim Cooks covered for all of it. So this is what I sent to the dad. I want to see Michaela and get to the bottom of who lied to keep me away from my child. They never told me. I wasn't even at court. This is Kiana. I want to talk to Michaela. You guys can't get away with this forever. So when I first got out of jail on the false charges, I was distraught and missed my daughter. We were close, all of my kids. So she kept me away from her for years. And then finally they let me speak with her. I saw her for the first time. Well, I saw her at a graduation only minutes. And then um, that was May of 2020 at my um, middle son's graduation. I didn't, um, they were all acting odd and I only spoke with them maybe two or three minutes and they had to go. Since he's not in his proper mental capacity, stepmom Sam running the show and the court's allowing her, you know, because they had to have the um, CPS disappear off the docket and the teachers that lied so they didn't get their state jail felony crime. So I tell the stepmom, hi, this is Kian. I want to see Michaela, and this is my new number. I want to talk to Michaela. You guys can't get away with this forever because they have been getting away with this chaos for a long time, and I have been going out of my mind missing my children. We were close. We went like, to SeaWorld uh, multiple times, um, Easter eggs, carved pumpkins, involved in the community, went swimming, fishing. We had um, family day each week. We had um, goal meetings, talking about goals just do law enforcement so she says uh i said i want to talk to michaela you guys can't get away with this forever and she said no can do and i said why do not owe you an explanation and i will be blocking you blocking this number and a lot of these parties will have to be condescending and abusive and gaslight me in the process of committing the crime and i stated interference with child custody is a felony crime you guys went to the family court made false statements so that's on you the family court will remove cps from the docket so you guys could take the file for it and then she states this is the kind of stuff that uh, my child trying to be funny that my child does not need these distractions is the same old story for years it's the same old stuff and we're tired of it hearing it she's tired of it well after a long time not even seeing my daughter for years i finally was able to see her and they allowed me to see her and I came over there and she had grown up and it, you know, it was bittersweet. I was able to see her, but I was disappointed that I haven't been a part of her life. So stepmom told me that my daughter, uh, told my daughter that I had to leave. My daughter had a meltdown and my stepmom was saying that I probably wasn't gonna be able to come back. And that she then later told me that she was about to give her away to CPS because of her meltdown. And knowing that my child, we, she knows how close we were and uh, what, what, kind, what kind of things that we did. So since my, since my child had a meltdown, they were gonna give her away. So I wanted to report that psychologically abusive. So I tried to report it to the police and they covered for it. Saying that we're tired of it, knowing that she told my daughter, so my daughter cannot you know, express or communicate or even show any kind of emotion behind the torture that she's going through with not having access to her mom. She can't show that because she'll get put out. Well, she says that they're tired of it, and she's tired of it. And I said, well, I hope the FBI is not. I brought gifts. She, her, her appearance has been really shabby. It's almost had me in tears. And I, there, I just had to sit, and I, there's a lot that I can't tell you. The level of stalking. Someone is really, really, really jealous of my kids and has a lot of power to abuse. They escalate the gang stalkers and the stunt drivers when I'm trying to go see my daughter and drop off money. Just for a few minutes. I don't see her long just enough time to give her the money and the gifts and now they're even stopping there so but i see i get stopped i see i highly stop and keep in mind a man hit me in front of right in front of the house 
my daughter, uh, the stepmom and my son came out and looked at this man cussing me out, creating a big scene in the street, lying, saying that I was fleeing. I mean, he cursed me out for a long time, degraded me. And I was so distraught, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't fathom on me that it was on purpose. He said multiple times, I saw you all the way down the street. 